What's up amigos, it's your main man Pezza here, bringing you another video. Sorry I haven't been around lately, I've been, it's been a bit mad with coursework, deadlines, I've got exams coming up, it's a big university year for me, so I've been doing that, along with that I've been on, I've been away on holiday, I went to Dubai, took some pictures, uh, you can check my Instagram out for, I post a few images up on there, follow me on Twitter for any, anything really, <laughs> anything at all. I have some. I have an interest in physics and the universe and stuff, and I have quite a broad range of interests. So, if you're interested to see what my interests are, then go check out my Twitter, and it might give you a bit of insight into what I enjoy and what might come on my YouTube channel at some point in the future. Anyway, enough of that. I'm putting this video up because I've been watching a lot of Black Ops Three Next Gen Only videos and the overwhelmingly large proportion of people are saying that it's going to be on both generations of console, both the PS3, Xbox 360 and the PS4, Xbox One. Now I'm coming to you today with a different approach where I'm not crunching numbers, I'm not looking at stats, I'm just looking at what's happened, what's gone down and we'll see what see what happens. You know, I'm gonna I'm probably gonna gabble gabble on, and I'm sorry for that. But these are my thoughts. I want to put them out there. And let me know in the comments below what you think after listening to this. So, reason number one why I think it's going to be next gen only is because at some point, Activision are going to have to start bringing it out on what is now current generation of consoles. PS3, Xbox 360, they are they are the past. I mean, sure, they're great to go back and play on, but I'm pretty sure the PS when the PS3 came out, I went back on the PS2 every now and again to play those games. Uh, the move is got has got to be made at some point, and un I I'm thinking uh, my way of thinking is until they bring out Call of Duty solely on the current generation. People aren't going to go out and spend their money on P uh, PS4 or an Xbox One. It's simple. Because if, if there are people out there like me that come before last year, Call of Duty was pretty much all they played. Like Call, there are, I know that there are people out there that just play video games and just play Call of Duty. And those people aren't, are going to be the people that will stick to current gen, stick to past gen, as long as they can, because they don't want to go out and spend that three hundred and fifty dollars or um, three hundred pounds on a new console when they can go out and spend it on a holiday, on a good night out in. <laughs> I'm talking from U UK here, a good night out in London. You know that that's a lot of money, and people aren't just going sp going to go out and spend that willy nilly without a good reason. And that good reason is only going to come about if they start bringing it on current gen. The next reason I think this year's Call of Duty is most likely going to be next gen is because when Treyarch bought out Black Ops 2, you could tell that they were really pushing the limits of the previous generation. They wanted to know how much they could get from that console. And I can see them doing it with the PS4, but part of me thinks, and I'm no developer, so I have no idea how what goes on in porting games down, porting them to other consoles, other generations, but I'm thinking that there must be a certain amount of resources within Activision that go into ensuring the code is portable. <laughs> portable, I hope you know what I mean by that. Um, that's quite funny. But yeah, there's got to be some sort of th threshold or limit to how far how complex and detailed they can make the game on current gen without making it impossible to port to previous gen. Like I say in the comments below, just let me know if I'm completely wrong. Just talking from the mind here, letting it out. Um, personally, I like to see it on. I like to see current gen only. Partly because when you see games bringing being brought out on previous gen, no matter how many. No matter how much research you put into it and how much 
you know that how much people say that it's not going to affect the game on your generation of console there's going to be a part of you that wonders like could it look better especially with the pre two previous games Ghosts and Advanced Warfare like you might be playing it on PS4 and wondering like not enjoying it and wondering could this be made better have I been um, what's the word Domination. have they Capturing done me out of a much better game here by bringing it out on previous gen those of us that have spent the money a new console yeah sure that's our choice but we want the best game that it can possibly be Securing and Bravo. I think it allow I I can see it being a huge game changer for Call of Duty because what with ghosts not being um, great I believe the sales are the lows ever that could be an exaggeration but they they were as low as they've been for a very very long time and Advanced Warfare still um, didn't sell or it, no not I'm not going to say didn't sell that many copies, but it's not, it's openly not very popular in the wider Call of Duty community. Another idea that's just come to mind that I meant to talk about earlier was um, with, I played Titanfall on Xbox One, and that's probably the most fun I've had on Xbox One. Now, as many of you may know, they brought out, they allowed the DLC to be um, downloaded for free by the gaming community or when it had been out on its one year anniversary and I think I could see this being a good a good marketing technique for Activision at some point say, let's just say Black Ops 3 is brought out on current year. a lot of people yes, I'm going to say it now a lot of people will be a bit annoyed if they haven't bought current gen, haven't bought PS4 or Xbox One yet, and can't afford it. My way of looking at it is, there are a lot of people out there that haven't played Call of Duty, and if they want to ensure that they're going to sell, if they're going to bring out on current generation, and want to ensure that they, they can sell as many copies as they can, those of us that have already played the game will and have been playing the game for a very long time know how it plays and I just think if Activision bought allowed all the allowed the DLC for the two previous games on that have been on PS4 and Xbox One to be downloaded for free it would open it up, up to a lot more people because at that point the games cost you can grab a game for like 15 pounds free owned apparently. and that would open it up to a lot of people that can pay for it. they might a lot of the older people don't like the way Activision are headed with the series because they missed the old run and gun things. and I think if they're going to continue with then they've got to find some way of of encouraging more people to play the game at a fast rate and I think by allowing the DLC to be downloaded for free for previous games would be a clever way of doing it. Like I say, this is all straight from the mind, I haven't switched this. Just, uh, pondering because a lot of these videos are kind of getting to me a little bit and I want to see what my viewers thought anyway, I meant to keep this short I didn't if you stuck with me, stick something in the comments because I greatly appreciate it anything that you do for me, I really appreciate share this, like this do what you want have a great day this is Pezza and I'll see you in my next video